for the longest time after I got this table, if you see any of my old videos, I'm sure there's some out there, I would have one of these little donut holes, or a bunch of these little donut holes, all over the table at the half diamond marks. All the way around the table, I would have one of these. Well, of course, I'd measure them out, and it, if everything would be as perfect as, as I could do it. And I did that because I was obviously learning how to bank and wanted to map things out and, you know, thought it would help and I'm pretty sure that it did help. But what would happen is every year I'd go to a, well, the Derby City Classic, the other places I would go, I'd, I wouldn't care, but every year I'd go to Derby City and I'd, I'd spend like, you know, half the first match wishing I had those little half diamond marks. You know, yeah, I'm not really used to the equipment. I wish I had those half diamond marks, but I didn't have them. And the people that run a tournament, they won't let me put these all over all the tables, fuckers. So I ended up taking them off of my table here two years ago. And, you know, I guess I'm getting used to it. It's fine. I have a, much more of a good feel for bank shots now than I used to. So I'm thinking that just for practice, I, I think I want to go the other way. I'm going to go and not do half diamonds. I think I want to get rid of the diamonds that I have. Now obviously, I'm not a woodworker. I'm not going to destroy my table. What I am going to do though, is I'm going to take this stuff and I'm going to see how it works. This is painter's tape. It will not hurt the finish of anything. It can just come right off. Any residue that gets left, which there probably won't be any, I can just use some pledge and take it off. So what I wanted to try to do here was cover up these diamonds. Just so I can't see them. So I have no clue at all. Well, I, I don't have any diamonds to serve as clues at all. Still have where's this rail and all that kind of stuff. I don't know why. I, just, I like trying different things and seeing what happens. I watch a lot of snooker on YouTube. There's not a lot of pool on YouTube. There's a lot of channels like mine, I guess, that try to be entertaining and or informative. But there's not a lot of matches. There are some, but you know, there's a lot more snooker. And they don't have diamonds on the tables in snooker. And the more I watch it, the more I think it just, it seems like a very clean, if that's a, a good word, maybe a little bit more honest type of a setup. Like, I, don't, I certainly don't think looking at diamonds is cheating, but they're there for a reason. But if you can bank a ball without those diamonds, uh, for some reason to me, at least right now, it seems to me like that would be a good thing. I do try to play by feel. And this seems like this would be a good way to play by feel. I'm not going to do the whole table on this. I'm just going to just yammer a little bit longer. Throw out some balls, get my cue. Wasn't prepared for any of this stuff, of course. And just see, can I see what how does this look? Now it is painter's tape, so I could, in theory, draw little marks or whatever I wanted to put on it. Um, I'm sure they make painter's tape that's not such a dark blue. But if I want to learn how to bank by feel, I think I'm doing it for the most part. I think for the most part I'm banking by feel. The, the shots where I'm not, well, the little ones that I'm just not really sure of ball out here, you know, I could figure out, since I still have this diamond, but where's 12? You should go to 12 down there. Where's 12? Don't know. But I can still look at the angle, see where this comes in, it gives me a clue of where things are, where that pocket is, gives me, gives me a clue of where things are. And I think that if nothing else, it, it, it will be interesting practice for me. I like trying different shit. Now, I'm not going to go to Derby City and ask them if I can put painter's tape all over all the tables. 
because they won't let me do it. Even if I decided I really liked it, they won't let me do it. You know, I'm thinking my opponent might have a problem with that too. So I'm not going to do that. But I'm reasoning if I'm trying, I'm trying to play by feel. That this might help me to play by feel. I got to get rid of these other diamonds because I'm actually using this diamond as a reference point of what I'm getting ready to do right here. So I've got to get rid of all the diamonds on the table. And this might not last longer than a day or so. You know, it might not last through the night. I may just decide, oh, this is a stupid idea, Dave. You dumbass, take the tape off your table. I may end up doing something like that. I don't know. I don't, also don't think this seven will get enough spin on it. Not quite enough spin. So, yeah, I didn't say this was gonna be exciting. It's a little bit interesting for me. It's something new. I've never done this before. So I'll do this to the rest of my of my rails and dig around and see if it's any fun. I'm sure it'll be fun. And see if, if I feel like it's helping or hurting anything. I definitely don't want to feel like I'm relying on the diamonds. Even though they're the same place on all the tables. I don't want to feel like I'm doing that. that I'm trying to play by feel. And if I'm using those diamonds, or those reference points relative to those diamonds, it seems that seems just a little bit robotic or whatever. It, the opposite of feel, whatever that is. So I don't want to do that. I want to try. I want to try something. I want to try and shit. Talk to you later.